Hello everyone and welcome back to Glenn's Kitchen. Today we're going to make special Maha Blanca. So, let's start rolling. Now for this recipe, you need a full cup or 100 grams of cornstarch, two cups of coconut milk, 150 grams of full cream uh, evaporated milk, about a cup and uh, also 150 grams of condensed milk 100 grams of corn you can use full corn or cream of corn uh, 100 grams of nata de coco and 100 grams of grated young coconut and one half cup of sugar Okay, so combine all uh, the ingredients in a pan except the cornstarch and natural cocoa. and bring it to a boil over medium heat. So dissolve the cornstarch in 3 4 cup of room temperature water and make sure to mix it thoroughly, stir it, so um, the cornstarch will be fully dissolved. Then add 3 4 cup of boiling water this is to make sure your cornstarch is cooked. Then, once the uh, mixture is boiling, you can add the nata de coco. And then, bring it to another boil. And... Add a cornstarch and make sure you stir it continuously. Transfer it to a container and let it cool. Uh, make sure you uh, flatten the surface because we will be adding a topping to this recipe. Okay, for our toppings, uh, we need one half cup of evaporated milk, one fourth cup of condensed milk, and about 150 grams of grated cheese. So we're just gonna combine it and make sure the cheese is fully melted. Pour the toppings over the Mahade Blanca and yeah that's about it let it cool and refrigerate so that's my special Mahade Blanca it's really good guys 
you know the the toppings complement uh, well with the mahade blanca because of the cheesy and the creamy taste and yeah i hope you can try this at home uh, let me know if you try this and um, make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and until next time bye